I have arrived to my first location, Rosenfeld's Bagels. What bagel do you recommend? What's like the best one? Everything bagel? What cream cheese should I do? Chive? Okay, I'll do that. Got a bagel. Okay, so they recommended an everything bagel with chive cream cheese on top. Let's open it up. It's nice and warm. They toasted it. Looks like they stuff it with cream cheese. At some places, they kind of cheap out and they don't give you a lot of cream cheese. Here, that is not the case. All right, let's give it a try. Before I get to the quality of the bagel, the cream cheese is just as important. And their cream cheese is insanely good. They have huge chunks of chives in here. It looks like they're freshly chopped from this morning. Now to the bagel. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's fluffy. It has a nice doughy texture. And also the seasonings for the everything bagel are all stuck in the right places. I feel like there could be a little bit more seasoning on the top. I'm gonna go with the 8.3 out of 10. Really solid bagel. Let's move on to the next location. We are now at our second location, Cafe Fresh Bagel. What do you recommend for a bagel? Out of all, all the bagels, them. all of them? Can you recommend one? Uh, my favorite is Sausage Alley. All right, I'll do that. What, what cream cheese? Out of all of them, my favorite is Chicken Italian. All right, I'll do that. Appreciate it. Sure. Okay, so this time I have Asiago bagel with a bacon scallion cream cheese. Zach, look at that. This looks so good. You can see all like the cheese toasted on the top. On the edges, it looks like the bagel is perfectly toasted. It's nice and warm. And if we open it up, you can see those little bits of bacon and scallion in there. Oh, so check out this caramelized crispy cheese on the bottom. It looks so good. I'm going in for a bite. I'm gonna give this bagel an 8.8 .8 out of 10. The bagel is definitely fresher than last time. My only criticism with this place is I feel like they could have put a little bit more cream cheese in. I'm getting a lot of bagel and not enough cream cheese. Overall solid bagel. Let's head to the next spot. We are now at our third location, Exodus Bagel. What, what do you recommend for a bagel? Just bagel and cream cheese. Probably uh, jalapeno cheddar with bacon everything cream cheese. I'll do that. Cheddar. it. Okay, so I have a jalapeno cheddar bagel with everything bagel cream cheese. Let's open this up. Check out this little sticker they put on. I love this license plate. It says Gluten, Massachusetts. All right, let's open this up. So this is kind of similar to the last bagel. We got cheddar on it, but we got jalapenos incorporated into the mix. And it also looks like they put a very generous amount of cream cheese in, which you gotta love. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I've never seen everything bagel cream cheese offered at any place I've ever been to, and I really like it. Also, check out these huge chunks of bacon in the cream cheese. How can you not love that? The bagel's a little spicy, and that sharp cheddar gives that nice saltiness and savory taste that I love in a bagel. Also, the dough, it's fluffy and airy. I'm gonna give this bagel a nine out of 10. This place is definitely worth the visit. Check it out if you're in the area. Let's move on to the next spot. We are now at our fourth location, Bagel Source. What do you recommend for a bagel? The most popular is everything. Okay, we'll do everything. everything. And for cream cheese, what's like the most popular cream cheese? The most popular cream cheese is usually just plain. Everything is Plain? Yeah. All right, we'll do plain then. All right, let's go try this. The guy in there was a little shy, but we finally got it out of him, and he said to get an everything bagel with plain cream cheese. Sometimes less is more, right? Let's see that bagel cross section. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. This is another place that stuffs their bagels with cream cheese. I gotta respect the schmear. They definitely respect the schmear. The consistency of this bagel is unlike the rest we've had today. It's very chewy, but not in a bad way. Compared to the other everything bagels we've had today, this has the most seasoning. Let's move on to the next spot. We have arrived to our fifth location, Finagle Bagel. Which bagel do you recommend? And which cream cheese is good? You want to try the scallion? Which one do you recommend? Scallion or jalapeno? Yeah, I like the scallion. Okay, I'll do the scallion. Okay, so once they take your order, they grab your bagel of choice, they put it on this conveyor belt, it comes all the way down here, it gets sliced in half with this blade, and then it's handed off to the kitchen and they finish making our bagel. Thank you. All right, let's go try it. Look at this wrapping. This is definitely the nicest packaging out of any of the places so far. Let's see if it tastes as good as it's presented. Again, this is the Asiago bagel with their tribe cream cheese. Let's see how it tastes. This is definitely not the best chive cream cheese I've had today. This looks like the chive cream cheese you can buy at the grocery store. It doesn't have fresh chives in it. It's not a bad bagel. I'm gonna have to give this a seven out of 10. It's not great. It just doesn't feel fresh. Considering how cool that bagel contraption was in there, I was hoping it would taste a little bit better. Anyways, on to our next spot. We have arrived to our sixth and final location, Black Sheep Bagels. We're doing a video on the best bagel in Boston, and we're asking each place to decide the bagel for us. So could All you right. could you pick the combination? All right, so the best bagel sandwich, yeah. I will go with that satire bagel with scallion cream cheese. Okay, let's do it. I really love seeing interesting flavors like this, and I don't think any other place we've been to today has had something this unique. Okay, let's go in for a bite. 
Unlike the last place we were just at, the scallion cream cheese is super fresh. There's big, huge chunks of it that are freshly chopped, and this bagel is crispy, soft, and it feels like it was freshly baked a couple hours ago. I can say that this is pretty easily a 9.3 out of 10. Best bagel I've had all day. There's nothing overly complicated going on here. It's just super fresh, and the flavors are amazing. All right, let's go close out the video. Before we close things out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. In third place, we had Cafe Fresh with an 8.8. .8. In second place, we had Exodus Bagel, which was a 9 out of 10. And in first place, we had Black Sheep Bagel with a 9.3 out of 10. Until next time, let me know what you want me to try next.